Hey, what's up guys? Joe Brinker back here again from Back to Basics Fitness and today I'm gonna to teach you how to do a proper inchworm. This is an excellent finisher to any of your workouts because not only is it gonna increase core strength, in particular anti-extension strength of the lower back, but it's also really gonna increase the flexibility of your hamstrings and it's gonna build compression strength. So without further ado, let's learn how to do this movement. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off in a proper plank position straight line from shoulder to hand. My shoulders are not elevated, they're depressed. My head is not drooping down, it's not excessively up. It is in a nice neutral position. I'm not allowing any sagging of the lower back. I have a nice hollow body because I have protracted shoulders and my glutes are squeezed. Now, from here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna maintain all that full body tension. You're gonna breathe freely, don't hold your breath. And now you're simply gonna start walking your hands out slowly as far as you can in front of you. So each individual is obviously gonna have a different strength level starting out. Just go as far as you can. What you're trying to do is fight it as hard as you can to prevent extension of the lower back. Once you get there, hold it for two seconds. And then with your knees locked, start doing little tiptoe walks as far as you can so you feel a really good stretch in the hamstrings, hold it, walk back out to plank, that equals one repetition. You're gonna wanna do 10 reps total every day at the end of your workout. Go slow, do them under control, and really take your time to make sure that you are challenging yourself in every walkout and in every walk forward with the legs. Do this consistently for the next four to eight weeks and you will definitely see some nice results. There you have it guys. Please follow, like, comment, subscribe. I hope this video helped you out and until next time, stay strong, do your inchworms, 